So this is a very basic recipe, but I just do believe it's mashed potato. Nothing more, nothing less. I do believe it's good to sort of show you how I make very simple things like mashed potato. I've got about a kilo of potatoes here, which are boiled till they're soft. I haven't put any seasoning in the water because I'm going to season the mashed potato. So first, just drain off the potatoes. There we go. Return the pan back onto the, my cooker. Now then, um, I don't quite know how much milk is going to go in there, but I do know that I'm going to put in 50 grams of butter. And um, I do know that I'm going to use my um, cake mixer to make the mashed potato. It works extremely well because it makes it very nice and airy, fluffy. So basically all I'm doing is adding milk to make a nice, smooth, soft mashed potato. I must say I only discovered how to make them, um, to use a mi hand mixer like this quite recently from my wife Sassy's mother, Janine. And I just thought I have lived all this time and didn't know how to make perfect mashed potato. The point of using the mixer is it not only mashes the potato but also whisks in lots of air as well which gives it a lovely lightness as you can see. A bit more milk. Now that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to stop that and have a little bit of a taste. Deliciously buttery. And now I need some salt. So I'm going to start with a teaspoon. It might seem a lot. Okay, now I need some black pepper. You can use white pepper if you don't like the little flecks that black pepper causes in mashed potato. But I love the taste of black pepper. Hurry on, do another little whiz. So that's getting very nice and airy now. Just a little word of apology about the builders out the back. We're building a new kitchen for doing my YouTube videos. And they're working 24 hours a day almost to get it finished in the next month. So that's one teaspoon for about, I think it was actually 1.2 kilos of potatoes. It will take another half teaspoon. There we go. So there we go, I think that's going to be perfect now. But, and what I would say, if you really like mashed potato rich, put in more butter, but that's enough for me this time. The last thing, as I am making this mashed potato for a fish pie, excuse me, I'm just going to add an egg, yolk. And the reason for that is it will colour up the mashed potato a bit, but also when I put it finally, the fish pie, into the oven to gratinate, it'll pick up more colour because of the egg. Look at that, seriously rich egg there. Good, good, good. Final taste, yummo. So, there it is. Without the egg yolk for the fish pie, this is also my favorite way of making mashed potato.